to it being straightforward. <laughs> Dating can be expensive for both genders. Financially, Dating is expensive both financially, mentally, spiritually, like in all kinds of ways because it it's like a giving, it's like a display, it's like always laying something on the table about yourself. Whether it's uh, a going out, spending money on maybe food or an experience, that's money. Whether it's uh, trying to connect with someone, so that's vulnerability, that's maybe things experiences which involve happiness or which involve sadness so it's a lot of you that is required to place on the table so before you date you have to be aware of these things or you will go into it and start feeling like oh i'm giving more than i was prepared for go into it conscious of the fact that it is taxing but if the connection is real it's very comfortable when you connect with someone genuinely it's very comfortable and it's very freeing and very flowy like you it, there is no forcing anything the next one is be vulnerable this one I've touched on it be vulnerable but also be cautious know the balance cause some people don't know how to handle no and they could use an experience to hurt you as a vengeance tactic dating is not the place where you lay out everything about yourself on the table you have to keep some things to yourself because you don't know if this is going to be something that is tangibly long term and by long term i mean whether it's in friendship or relationship or you know an acquaintance that you're okay with so even when you're being vulnerable, you need to be vulnerable with the things that you're okay with. If not everyone is mature enough to keep, to protect people's vulnerability. And some people will use it against you if the dating scene does not go according to what they want it to be. You know, what they're trying to force it to be as. So protect yourself, guard your heart. You know, the word of God says guard your heart. Go into it protecting yourself. Go into it sharing something that you're okay if it's shared by them to other people. That's what I mean. Because you cannot foretell or guarantee that the other person has the maturity or the wisdom to know how to protect humanity in that aspect that's what i mean love does not have to be war unless you're not willing to heal your trauma to nullify the habits or choices it draws out in dating first and foremost before you go into dating you have to understand the traumas you've been through you know that by trauma i mean the things that have affected you into being the type of person that you are whether positively or negatively understanding that allows you to heal yourself it allows you to get help in areas that you're supposed to be better in and if you're not a person who is consistently evolving and allowing yourself to heal parts of you that are broken or parts of you that you have been attached to that are not right, you will go into the dating scene attracting people who are like you. And by like you, I mean people who carry the same darkness as you, if not more. So healing... Um, is very important before you go into the dating scene because here's the secret about dating if you want to attract the right people you have to be the right person and by the right person i mean always heal always grow and always try to be a better person kindness attracts kindness if you are a nice person and if you are in a place where you are a good a great version of yourself you attract people who are on that same level and i don't mean perfect you can be flawed and still be the best version of yourself because you it's like an ascension of self you're consistently upgrading yourself so if you are growing you attract people who are growing and i don't mean just growing in the superficial kind of things even if that's also important because you want someone who is working on themselves internally and also physically someone who has a goal someone who has a vision someone who is you know sharpening who is being sharpened or is placing themselves in a place where they are consistently sharpened so 
by this that's what i mean that love doesn't have to be war don't allow yourself to think that love has to be this thing where we have to fight we have to push like mkokote ni you know it's like a struggle of everything love has to be i think love is a beautiful thing love has to flow if you're in the right place you attract the right things and you attract the right people so that's what i mean by it i hope that's clear the next one i've touched on this one is you attract what you value or don't in yourself so if you value paper and by paper i mean money mula more than being that's exactly what's going to come to you if so this is what i mean if you know in your heart of hearts that you are a gold digger that's exactly what you're going to attract you're going to attract people who will offer you money and not soul if you value soul the best way actually this is the best way to focus on it focus on soul and by soul i don't mean be ignorant of the fact that also these other areas of life spirituality and economic lifestyle also matters it just means that if you focus on the soul you find people who also see you in that way you attract people who are grown in that same aspect they are mature in the aspect of their soul providers that's what i mean so let me simplify it in this way if money matters to you more than a relationship you're going to attract mubabas and to my foreigners mubabas means sponsors you know people who are just there to give you money they're just there to throw money at you but if you're focused on a faith or you're focused on the soul you attract people who are soul providers whatever your provision or in relationships that you're looking for what, yeah that's the kind of service that you're looking for in other people when it comes to relationships when it comes to the dating scene that is exactly what you attract so yeah if you want a certain type of person or if you want a certain type of status of people you have to become that you have it has to be a meditation in your mind it has to be a path in your life where you're healing or you're evolving in that aspect so the next one is be led by the spirit of god if there is no peace about it let that shit go by this this is what i mean always allow god and i don't mean allow god like oh i'm asking for permission i mean always involve god before you start dating don't start involving god when it's like in the conclusion phases or when things are going bad start off with god you know ask god to show you what you need and what is best for you you know because sometimes as human beings we think we need something or we need someone but that's not the truth sometimes all that's needed is a healing in ourselves to become what we are trying to be and sometimes people take relationships or the dating scene like a path to fulfill yourself and you cannot be fulfilled by any human being there are a lot of people who are in relationships who are lonely and are very unsatisfied there are people who are alone who are very satisfied and happy you get what i'm saying so understand yourself from a god perspective like allow the spirit of god to lead you into these situations where you meet the right people or you connect with people even ask god go to the extent of asking god is this the person you want me to interact with whether it's a friendship or a relationship or a connection in whatever sense of that the next one is take yourself out on dates as much as you can treat and also work on becoming the greatest you that's never been realized not for anyone but god and yourself connect with your inner god in this section you have to be connected to god you have to love yourself enough to know that you deserve nice things in life and that starts off by loving yourself understanding yourself knowing what you need to heal in yourself and about yourself it also involves take yourself out you know go have a good time and you can have a good time even when you're alone you can go to a restaurant you go to maybe a cafe you can go to hikes you can go to 
what else can you go to you can take yourself out to the movies without necessarily having to involve other people you know get used to loving yourself because no one will ever love you more than you love yourself and i feel like it's unfair to require others to love you to a certain level that you yourself have not reason to that level of loving yourself also connect to your inner god by this this is what i mean connecting to your inner god means a lot of things being positive it means being aware of the words that come out from your tongue it means be aware of the interactions you have with yourself and even with other people it means understanding the type of person you want to become and the person you are right now understanding your flaws understanding you know by flaws i mean weaknesses understanding your strengths and knowing how to work with that in making yourself a better person or placing yourself in positions or opportunities where that is possible for you next one it's okay to evolve when you are evolving what and who you like changes which means your where changes to okay let me just try and explain this it's okay to evolve what you liked yesterday or what you liked in like a month ago is not necessarily maybe the thing that you will like in two months after and this is important to understand because a lot of people think that is instability but if you are evolving you want someone also who is evolving with you you want friendships and partnerships where people are always evolving people are not the same people that you met yesterday they are not the people you know you don't want to be with people who always think the same way every day they are so predictable it's boring no one wants boring personally i don't like boring if you like boring i'm sorry no judgment here but you want people who are okay with evolving who are okay with changing you need someone who takes you from a state b position to a state a position and i mean that including yourself it has to start with yourself you have to be someone who is consistently evolving if you ever find yourself being the type of person who is the same way you were a year ago that's a problem always change if you do not see change in your life whether it's in your mentality whether it's in how you look at money whether it's in how you you interact with people whether it's how you receive or take in words said about you you have to change that because that's a problem you cannot be the same person you are you have to push yourself to grow next one is this one i don't know where i was going with it but it says date fast especially if god said you still need to learn and understand each other beyond the face value attributes this is for my faith people my christian people anyone who believes in a higher power personally i believe in jesus christ is my person so making that clear <laughs> these days you have to make things clear that said if a prophecy has been given to you about someone is going to be your person you still need to date you still need to understand who you are you still need to understand each other's weaknesses and each other's strength because no one is coming into a relationship perfect and no one is going to be this different person when they date if they were a certain person when they were individual single that is the person they will be when they are in a relationship unless they are evolving because sometimes relationships are catalysts for change you know there are people you can be with who spark a better version of you so that's what i mean so even if god said that is your person please still go out and try to understand each other go out on dates go out and understand are you connecting is there chemistry or biology and by i okay let, let's remove the biology thing is there chemistry biology is after the covenant before god you know we are promoting celibacy <laughs> i'm going to throw it out there no judgments here but that's the word of god anyway the next one is date in celibacy Woo we i did not plan this i did not think that was the next point but date in celibacy don't give that treasure to nobody but the pirate <laughs> i mean don't throw your pearls to the swine this is what i mean by it dating is about knowing each other courtship is also about knowing each other in a deeper level but in a committed way you know this is my person this is 
you know this we are each other's persons you know that is courtship dating is knowing each other so you see when you go into dating and you're giving away your treasures like what's the point imagine how many people you're going to give away your diamond before you e you're even certain that that is the person for you so don't give your treasure to the swine keep it guarded you know pray over it pray for self control you know liking someone does not mean engaging in the biological physical stuff of things it means you know there is nothing as beautiful as connecting with people beyond your physical fleshly way and that's the real connection because there are people who f who feel like or think or are certain that they have a genuine connection and it's just flesh it's just lust and the lust passes away but if you connect with people beyond your flesh beyond your physical being that connection is going to go it's going to last even if it doesn't grow maybe into a courtship or more it's going to last for a long time and anyone who feels like they are pressured into engaging into that certain area of their of the physicality in their dating in their dating circle sorry people out of focus so this is what i'm going to say to the people who feel like they are pressured in the dating scene to give away their treasure to the swine if anyone disregards you because you do not give your physical being to them outside covenant please you know say hallelujah praise god you know that's like a short listing you know the way you can go look for a job and they say we will call you we will let you know but you know you're not getting the job that's like a similar thing stop don't be so desperate for a relationship that you give away what you do not what is not supposed to be given let the person who cannot deal that's the whole purpose of dating it's like short listing what's good for you what's not good for you it's like shifting what is it called sifting sifting away what is not yours throwing away what is not yours and claiming what is yours you know like hold what is yours if people agree with it then and also be careful so that because there are people who will string you along because you because they make it a challenge be very that's why you need to connect to god because god will expose people let me tell you god will expose people no matter how good they are things will just come out you know so be very connected to god and be very connected to the ways of god and to the spirit what the spirit of god is saying to you and you will not go wrong and even if you go wrong god will always protect you because your heart is set in pleasing him in being in the right path so i don't know if i've said this in conclusion i'm going to uh, about that treasure giving treasure to the swine don't give your treasure to the swine it's in matthew chapter 7 verse 6 if any one of you wants to clarify it says this is the nlt version i think it says do not give that which is holy the sacred thing to the dogs and do not throw your pearls before hogs lest they trample upon them with their feet and turn and tear you in pieces and in regard to this scripture you will save yourself a lot of trauma a lot of numbness a lot of coldness a lot of bitterness if you keep yourself in celibacy if you keep your treasure where your treasure is supposed to be in terms of godliness because connections soul ties this spiritual unification is the reason why a lot of people are bitter is the reason why a lot of people do not prosper even in their finances and i know it sounds crazy but who you are you know your physical being is not just your physical being like your physical being gives access it's like a cover-up of your spiritual being you are a spirit so the physical being is like a mask to your spiritual being so when you unify yourself spiritually to these people you unify yourself in flesh to these people you're also unifying yourself spiritually to these people so you find that if someone was had a lot of anger you get that anger if someone was uh, struggling financially you get that same thing like the negative things attached to you because 
it's a spiritual unification like sex is not just sex it's a unification it's like how do i say i think that spiritual unification gives a better explanation of what it is you know soul ties spiritual unification if you want you can read more about it i think that i don't know if there are people who have created you know th films about it but try and understand rituality in terms of connecting with people so that you don't put yourself in positions where you sabotage even your destiny your purpose because you're so desperate to connect with people connect with god first then relationship second god comes first relationships come second because god also values relationships what did i want to say in conclusion oh if you're finding it hard to attract people this is what i will say to you there is nothing as ugly as a beautiful person who has an ugly heart and there is nothing as beautiful as someone who is not even attractive but has a beautiful heart kindness always makes you beautiful like don't depend or rely on your physical being to be the thing that attracts you have to have more than your physical being and anyways in our generation people can do plastic surgery to be pretty to be cute so don't that's not a thing that you hold weight on even if physical attraction is also important when you're eating or when you're going into a relationship like it's not something that is off you know off the table it's still part of the table but it's like icing on the cake you have to focus on the cake the cake is the soul of somebody are they compassionate are they kind are they evolving do they believe in something more than themselves because if they do not believe in something more than themselves then they become their own gods and they become their own judge they become their own horn you know they are the ones who dictate what when something is right or when something is wrong so meaning there is no consciousness to say when they are doing something wrong you be with people who understand boundaries and it's not something you have to hammer into them that this is the boundary this this is not you know like common sense you know like be with people who have common sense that is what i'm going to say and people who have a fear of god things that make dating also easier is be social and don't be social for the main purpose of dating be social to connect with people because you also learn a lot from being social and be social with people who are not like you people who are different from you people who are from different lanes of life people who believe different you know challenge your mind to have conversations with those people because the best connections are those which are not planned a lot of great relationships are the relationships that happen when you were not planning for it like it happened organically so yeah that's something i will say if you have a question you know you can comment below and i can try and get back to you or i can make a whole other video about it also like share subscribe and see you next time maybe on the dating scene again or courtship maybe we can talk about courtship or singlehood we'll check and see if i have not done a series on singlehood maybe i can do that and maybe we can go forward into the courtship and relationship scene of things i love you appreciate you and thank you for your time god bless you be wise also and have self-control bye like share subscribe